right now that massive manhunt in is, is underway for Mark Keith Lloyd. Here's a picture of the guy they're looking for. He's wanted for shooting and killing an Orlando police officer this morning, as well as for the murder of his pregnant girlfriend last month. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino has been in Orlando all day gathering new information. She joins us now live with the latest on this search for Lloyd. Tell us what you know, Melissa. Well, good evening. I'm standing just down the street from the Brookside Apartments. This is the suspect's last known location. I'm going to step here out of the way so you can see the heavy law enforcement presence that's been here for the past several hours. Things have really ramped up here, though, in the last hour. We saw SWAT come in, FBI agents, the sheriff's office, you name it. We also spoke with a witness who saw the whole situation unfold. A solemn scene, a salute to fallen Orlando Sergeant Deborah Clayton, an American flag draped over the veteran officer, described as devoted to her community. But she was so deeply involved in the community, it hurts all, all the more um, because I know that she, she was trying to do her part to make this community safer and uh, she's going to be forever missed. Her final moments unfolding around 7 this morning at an Orange County Walmart. We're told someone saw murder suspect Markeith Lloyd and pointed him out to Clayton, who was on duty and in full uniform. When the officer confronted Lloyd, he opened fire. Brian Streepy was doing work in the parking lot and heard a woman yelling. He now knows it was Sergeant Clayton. When he realized that he wasn't going to be able to get around this officer, he pulled the gun and started shooting. That's when the officer started backing up and returning fire. And so you saw Sergeant Clayton, the female officer, fire her gun? Yes. Streeby says he saw Lloyd shoot Sergeant Clayton. He then saw her collapse to the ground and Lloyd take off in a black car. That's when he ran to the injured officer's side. Her gun was laying right next to her walkie-talkie, so I didn't want to reach for her walkie-talkie and her thinking I'm reaching for her gun. And I'm trying, I have gloves on because it was so cold. I'm trying to call 911 at the same time. Well, after the shooting, police say Lloyd carjacked a vehicle and took off. Minutes later, reports that he fired at a deputy who tried to stop him in a nearby Pine Hills apartment complex. We're told he then carjacked a second car. And that is when he was last seen at this apartment complex. And we have seen SWAT here. They have been going door to door, telling people to come out with their hands up. Uh, so definitely a very scary situation here. And it, it's just unfolding. Wow, an incredible witness account, too, just to hear that man explain how all of that went down. Thank you, Melissa Marino, reporting live in Orlando. She's going to stay on that for us tonight. Meantime, we should mention an Orange County deputy was also killed this morning on his way to assist with the manhunt for Markeith Lloyd. That deputy was on a motorcycle. A driver turned in front of him, and he crashed. He later died at the hospital. The sheriff's office has not released that deputy's name yet.